2019 Singles Case E just came out and collectors are celebrating it not only because it contains a super chase but because it contains eight brand new Disney Cars releases one of them being the next gen Gasprin Racer from Cars 3 and the unbelievable A Hirsch in the Cars line which as you can see here is an extremely unique casting. So since we have these two rivals in the case, I really didn't know who to review first. There was a lot of people on my video, my case unboxing, link to that is in the description below and the card suggestion pop up. A lot of people said, I want to see Steve first because he's so unique. And other people being fans of the next gens want to see Richie guns it. I originally was going to do Richie, but then so many people said Steve, and then other people were like, what are you talking about? I want to see Richie. And so I thought the best, most fair way to handle this was to not review either of them at all and review Cars 3 Bob Cudless instead. What? You don't want to see me review Bob? Come on. Look how awesome he is. He has a brand new decal that differentiates him from his previous release. All right, all right. Okay. Steve, Richie, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Richie. <laughs> all right, guys. I ended up going with Richie, as you can tell from the title and, of course, the thumbnail because, you know, next gens, everybody loves next gens, but I will review Steve tomorrow, and I think it's actually better to review him on a Saturday, because Saturday is my favorite day, and it's when everybody tends to have the most free time, so I thought that would be a good time, and we'll review Richie today here on Friday. So thank you guys so much for the support on my last video. Again, sorry for disappointing you if I'm not reviewing the car you wanted to see, but, you know, it's just what it is. I will review Steve tomorrow, like I said. So fear not, fear not. And then on Steve's video, I will start with polls because I don't know where the other cars will fall in. But of course, this is the normal version of Richie Gunzit, who is the next gen Gasprin Racer number 70. We previously got the Fireball Beach version, which is oddly made in China. I reviewed him a couple weeks ago and that link will also be in the description below and the card suggestion pop up in the right hand corner if you want to check it out. And that's another reason why I wanted to review Steve because I just reviewed that one but I decided to go with Richie anyway. Next Gen Piston Cut Racers is the series. I really do love his artwork. It looks really nice. On the back here you can see Chase Racelet and Ryan Inside Laney are upcoming releases, probably going to be made in Thailand. Michael Roeder has been found in Australia so far as a single, but he's also available in that Target exclusive 11 pack. And the other strange thing about him is that the 11 pack version is in China, and then the single is Thailand. So there's so many crazy variations out right now. It's a little crazy. And then another weird thing with Cam Spinner, the single version is Thailand and the Fireball Beach version is from China. So same thing with Richie here. Lots of crazy things going on. But here is a nice picture of McQueen at the LA International Speedway with Cam Spinner, Chris Roman, and Danny Suarez. With the impressive Next Gen Racers break, Lightning McQueen's winning streak. Absolutely, they do. So I'll be right back with Richie opened up. Don't worry, I did get two out of the case, so there's no issue with me opening up this one. Now, Richie did replace Floyd Mulvihill as the Gaspin Racer in the Piston Cup, but I don't feel so much sympathy for him because he had a very long career being one of the few racers from Cars 1 to also be in Cars 3. So yep, he was the stock car for Gasprin in both movies, even though it looks like they're entirely different characters. Plastic surgery, I guess. And all of the cars or racers that did make the journey from Cars 1 to Cars 3, besides Lightning McQueen, do have this roundish model, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know. Pixar was lazy and they just made them all that way instead of like sparceling it out because it really doesn't matter. It's not like a coincidence or anything that all those made the journey.
But Richie did appear in Cars 3, like toward the end of it. He had a prominent moment featured in the crash at that Florida 500. I was about to say LA Speedway. But that was pretty much it for him. And I do indeed feel some deja vu right now because I already said all this in my Fireball Beach version of him, which I have to say I prefer. Is it because he's made in China? Possibly, but I don't know. I love the Thailand version of Chris Roman. And there is a version of Chris Roman that we will get from China. There is a picture of it. And I can't say right now that I prefer one over the other. Looking at these two here right now, the eyes on Richie bother me. They just look so grainy and they just look out of place. They don't really connect with the body because they're not glossy. They're just like a regular plastic piece. And then you have this really nice glossy finish, which is great from Thailand for sure. They do a great job with that. But the eyes are now separate pieces instead of you see here, for example, it's part of the body. So... I don't know. I don't think they did such a great job here with Richie. The eyes just kind of bother me, but the rest is certainly nice. You got the two-part grill there with the headlights, yellow front bumper with some vents, black rims with those little orange dots in the middle there, which is something we haven't seen before. They've always, I don't know, just made it the same color. We've never really seen like dots within that are different colors. So it's certainly nice to see that extra detail. They are light year tires, and his contingency sponsors are the Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, Synergy, and there you have the Gasprin logo at the bottom with a couple flying pills, and we can take a much better look at the side now without all the sand on it. That arrow indicates to the pit crew where to lift them up at to change the tires. You got some exhaust pipes there, number 70, and this pink, yellow, blue stripe pattern. Roof flaps, then you got those window bars, which... I don't know. It seems like they always kind of do some window bars and they go away from it. Then they do them back. So who knows what Mattel's doing. I do like the spoiler though, having, you know, the yellow in the background, purple for gas, print is in blue. I like that for sure. Now, if you guys don't know, Gasprin is a play on aspirin, which is a real life. It's kind of like, you know, just a pain relief type thing. You take it when you got a headache or when you know, you just feel pain. It's that broad. And so Gasparin, I would assume, is the same thing, but for cars. You have the rookie racing stripes on the back there that are required for all rookies. 70 Gasparin taillights. There you have the gas cap. You got some outline pills flying around here, which has always kind of been the trend for Gasparin, flying around pills. And there is the date stamp L52A, which I believe, actually, yeah, this was made in the last week of 2018 because there's 52 weeks in a year. And that is the L is for 2018, 52 is for the week, and A, I believe, is the factory. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hot Wheels only have a three-digit code. It'd only be like L52. And so A probably just stands for the factory. Have we seen any Bs? No, L45A, let me guess, let me guess. All right, L27A. Oh, darn, four weeks too late. I don't know, I figured that guy would be kind of in the middle of the year. But anyway, back on track here. Comparing these two bad boys, you can see that the China Fireball Beach version obviously has the glossy sand finish. So you can really kind of see the true colors now since they're not all like faded and drawn out because of the sand. Let me know in the comment section below which version you prefer. And also I do want to point out that those little dots are colored in. You can just barely see it though because of the sand on this version. I do prefer the Fireball Beach version by a long shot. It also feels heavier. The Thailand version feels a little light. Probably because the eyes are not metal, so therefore it's lost a couple, lost a couple grams, ounces, whatever you want to say it in. You know, the United States, along with, I believe, Libya and Burma, or Liberia, are the only three countries in the world to use, like, feet and yards and miles, whereas every other country uses the metric system of meters and grams and all that good stuff. But anyway, getting back on track here, you can see the legacy of Gasprin. D 
didn't change a whole lot over these two years. You still have like the blue and yellow color scheme. Went from a more spherical type pill to a cylindrical type pill. Maybe not really cylindrical. It's like if you made an oval 3D shape, don't know what you call that. Just call it a pill. Less contingency sponsors. Always had black rims. Always been number 70. He never had the pills flying around though, so that is one aspect that was on the Cars 3 stock car version and made it to the next gen. Another question for y'all. Which gas burn racer do you prefer out of all these three? I'm going to have to go with Cars 3 Floyd Mulvey Hill. By the way, the hood ache relief slogan was removed entirely from the next gen here, which also, you know, like I said, is like headache relief. I mean, I was about to say in the United States as if this was a country based thing, but I meant to say real life. So let's bring in the entire Gasprin team right now. Again, feeling some deja vu, but we got this four wheel drive custom chief. You can check out my review of that in the description and the card suggestion. This is a toolbox also from four wheel drive. He really does a nice job with these types of customs, types of customs. And here is my canceled official prototype semi of Gasparin. Just got this recently and it is one of my most prized possessions ever. I love this guy. And it really makes a nice team for Gasparin. We just need a pity trailer maybe two and we'd have a nice little setup here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for all you Steve Herschel fans out there and Bob Cutlass fans as well. I did ultimately decide to review this guy, but don't worry, tomorrow you will see a Steve Herschel video without a doubt. And thanks again for watching and all the support. It's been great lately. I've really had a lot of fun doing videos just because, you know, we have such a great interaction in the comments. And by the way, I forgot to talk about the good stuff that happened to me yesterday. It was actually a couple days ago when I did the case unboxing video. But as you guys probably know, Google Plus is shutting down. So my Disney Cars community on there is going bye-bye as well. And there's so many active members on there. There's like hundreds on there. We have such a, an awesome time. And if you're not on there, you missed out. But don't worry, we are moving to Tapa Talk. Just like in Thor Ragnarok, when Asgard is destroyed, Thor has to move his people somewhere else. And even though we don't know where that place is yet, probably going to be that place where Odin died. But anyway, that's what we're doing here. We're moving to Tapa Talk. Link to that community is in the description below. And it is better than Google Plus, without a doubt. There's a live chat room where we all just talk. It's like a huge group chat that we're all in and we can send instant messages. It's a lot of fun, so definitely check that out. And I will probably even do like a video like as a tribute to Google Plus because it was so, it really means a lot to me. So anyways, enough rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my little rant. I will see you guys tomorrow for your boy, Steve Herschel. Bye now.